हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सो एडिंग ऑन वन मोर ड्रग टू द इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन ड्रग सीरीज दैट इज मेटाप्रोलॉल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टार्टिंग विद द क्लास ऑफ ड्रग्स मेटाप्रोलॉल इज अ बीटा एड्रीनर्जिक एंटेगोनिस्ट व्हिच मेनली अफेक्ट्स बीटा 1 रिसेप्टर्स एंड लेस अफेक्ट्स बीटा 2 रिसेप्टर्स नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू इंडिकेशंस द मोस्ट कॉमन इंडिकेशन फॉर यूज इन इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट इज फॉर सुप्रा वेंट्रिकुलर टेकीकार्डियास इंक्लूडिंग एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन विद फास्ट वेंट्रिकुलर रेट and atrial flutter next is ventricular tachycardias wherein it can be considered for use for ventricular tachycardias and ventricular fibrillation the next indication is angina pectoris wherein it reduces the oxygen demand by decreasing the heart rate the next indication is hypertension wherein it is used in combination with other drugs or if hypertension is associated with heart failure next indication is myocardial infarction where aha recommends beta blocker for patients after mi to reduce the risk of further cardiovascular events especially in patients with reduced ejection fraction or heart failure the next indication is heart failure it is used in addition to the standard therapy wherein it is found to improve survival it reduces the rate of hospitalization in patients with heart failure the other indication which we must know is migraine it reduces frequency and severity of migraine and last one is thyrotoxicosis it is used as an adjunct treatment for thyroid storm so next coming to dosages let's discuss based on the indication in emergency room for atrial fibrillation with fast ventricular rate or atrial flutter the dose is 5 mg iv given over 2 minutes and the dose can be repeated every 5 minutes up to 3 doses the goal must be to target an heart rate of less than 110 followed by which the patient can be put on oral dose which is 25 to 100 mg twice daily can be given next the dose for angina pectoris is the initial dose is 50 mg twice daily the dose can be increased with a maintenance dose of 100 to 400 mg daily next the dose for hypertension is 25 to 100 mg daily the dose can be slowly stepped up based on the response with a maintenance dose of 100 to 400 mg per day case of mi the dose is the dose is 5 mg iv based on the response patient can be put on oral dose that is 25 to 100 mg every 6 hourly based on tolerance followed by a maintenance dose of 100 mg twice daily for up to 3 months in case of heart failure the dose is 25 mg once a day for 2 weeks and based on the tolerance can be adjusted to a maintenance dose of 100 to 200 mg daily next coming to the available formulations in tablet form it is available as 25 mg 37.5 mg 50 mg 75 mg and 100 mg in case of iv it is available in the strength of 1 mg per ml next coming to the factors that have to be monitored while the patient is on metoprolol regularly heart rate and blood pressure must be monitored ecg must be monitored to look for arrhythmias av block or bradycardia blood glucose must be monitored regularly as metoprolol masks hypoglycemia in patient with diabetes mellitus next coming to mechanism of action metoprolol basically binds to the beta 1 adrenergic receptors on the surface of cardiac cell it blocks the catecholamine receptor activation by competing for the same receptor it reduces the intracellular signaling pathway mediated by camp and protein kinase by decreasing the sodium influx during the phase 4 of the cardiac cycle metoprolol slows down the firing rate of the pacemaker thus decreasing the heart rate metoprolol increases the refractory period of the cardiac cells and reduces their excitability by prolonging the phase 3 of action potential it decreases the contractility of the ventricular myocardium by inhibiting calcium influx so this is how metoprolol acts next coming to pharmacokinetics the onset of action after an iv injection is 2 to 5 minutes with a duration of action of 3 to 4 hours metoprolol has a large volume of distribution it is metabolized by liver mediated by cyp2d6 enzyme excretion is mainly in the urine next coming to adverse effects the most common adverse effects is bradycardia av block which may manifest as chest pain palpitation breathing difficulty patient may have shortness of breath which could be by worsening of the heart failure other adverse effects are hypotension glucose intolerance and metoprolol mask hypoglycemia in patient with diabetes next coming to drug interactions metoprolol must be prescribed with caution if prescribed along with calcium channel blockers 
as it may have an additive effect enzyme inhibitors like fluoxetine and paroxetine may elevate metoprolol levels and can increase adverse effects enzyme inducers like rifampicin may accelerate metoprolol metabolism so hence this must be considered in mind next coming to contraindications let's remember the contraindications as a b c wherein a stands for av blocks six sinus syndromes and severe bradycardia b stands for bronchial asthma that is uncontrolled bronchial asthma c stands for congestive or decompensated heart failure and acute cardiogenic shock so these are the contraindications to use of metoprolol next is point to consider while using metoprolol on long term usage of metoprolol sudden withdrawal of beta blocker can lead to rebound sympathetic activation leading to tachycardia and hypertension so this must be considered so hope this was useful thank you